Well, g'day everyone. I'm Gilan here. I realize I haven't been making any uh, cookery and knife videos um, for some time now. And um, believe me, there's a very good reason why. Um, and it involves a nosy neighbor and a lot of, well, legal squabbles over uh, the things that I do. Um, anyway, that's um, probably a thing of the past and I hope the problem doesn't recur. Now I'm going to try to make as many of these videos as I can. And for those of you who have subscribed to my channel over the years, I'm, I'm really very grateful to you. Thank you. But for now, we will move from um, the large cookeries that I normally review to the smaller knives. Um, and this particular one is a Dexter Russell Green River knife. And you can see it right there. Green River Works, made in USA. The model number is 4215. Now, this, these Green River knives have been a, a part of the history of, of, of the, the United States, really. American frontiersmen would carry knives like this back in the early 19th century and even now in modern times um, people still use knives like this for um, various outdoor and even kitchen uh, purposes. Um, it's a it's got a five inch long blade so the blade is five inches from here to there it's nine inches overall. And if we pull it back a little here, you can see that the full length of it. It's got a, a fairly thin blade, but it is full tang. And you can see the full tang wrapping around the handle there. So it gives you a bit of um, extra strength. Um, it, it uses, it, it's made of, uh, um, I believe, 1095 high carbon steel which means it's not a stainless um, steel. And because it's not stainless, it will lend itself to rust and uh, discoloration. As you can see, the, the tang has already discolored quite a bit. It's been advised that you, um, you coat this with oil or give it a thin film of oil to protect the blade when it's in storage. It's a good knife. I mean, I've used this for my hikes and uh, camping trips. I've used it in um, to prepare meat for the camp. It would make an excellent skinner if you're a hunter. Um, I've used this for making um, feather sticks for starting fires. And probably because I, I live in a, in a fairly dry climate, it's, um, you know, there aren't too many signs of corrosion on, on the steel. But if you live in a, in a humid climate, it would be advised and advisable to um, coat this with oil whenever it's stored. Now, it comes with a very plain, um, no-nonsense wood, pair of wood grips with three brass uh, tacks. Um, it's got hard corners, as you can see. Um, and to some people, these hard corners are way uncomfortable. I've never had any discomfort in handling this knife. So um, if these corners are not um, comfortable to you, you can smooth them out and round them out. It's, um, it's not a very hard wood anyway. For me, it's, it's okay just the way it is. Normally when I bring this knife with me, it's accompanied by either my tomahawk or a hatchet or one of my larger cookeries. The uh, larger uh, cookery or the um, tomahawk or hatchet will be used for the heavy duty chopping and cutting uh, work. And this one will be for um, the lighter type of work you would use a knife for. Now, there are a number of places where you can buy this knife. Um, Green River knives have been uh, are just plain ordinary utilitarian knives but they've earned quite a bit of a reputation uh, over the centuries americans have have uh, taken to using the term at least back in the 19th century they've used the term up to green river which means something akin to if it's as good as the green river knife as durable then it's 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 okay in their books 
anything up to Green River is, is of a very good standard. Um, I will post some of the, the uh, places where you can buy this knife, um, but I bought it here at Australia from a from an eBay shop called Wasmart, and they they're located up in the Northern Territory, and the the guys at Wasmart made this crocodile skin uh, sheath. If you buy this knife from any other source, you probably will not get the sheath. Normally, this this knife comes in a long green box just as is no sheath no scabbard no nothing just the knife but the good folks at Wasmart decided to um, build this um, sheath for the knife and um, I'll put the uh, I'll put their um, their eBay shop in the description below plus um, the web page of one or two other um, sources where you can buy this overseas so there you go it's a good knife it's a good um all-around utility knife it won't win any beauty contests by any means but it's it's a useful tool as it is small enough lightweight it came out of the box very very sharp you'd be very careful with that it will need touching up now and again but it has a um it, it's a 1095 high carbon steel with a um, with a Rockwell hardness of, of about 50 or thereabouts so it's not really very hard but then again because it's not so hard it's easy to um, rehone but it does keep a good edge I sharpened this knife once only once and it hasn't lost that that edge since then and I've used it for um, quite a few things. I've used it to cut through some scotch fillet steaks and um, things like that and it's it's been um, you know serving me well. I don't um, think that this knife will be a, a you know it, it does not occupy the same place as my collectible katanas or anything like that but if you want a knife that is cheap reasonably priced uh, good quality sharp able to do what you want it to do within reason then this is the knife for you so there you go um, take care everyone and have a nice day